Chapter 5 Growing Plants Pave the way. Hey, let's grow it now. Choose a container. Fix the drainage. Fill it with soil. Sow seeds in it. Water wisely. Maintain consistent moisture. Put it in proper sunlight. Circulate the air. Here the baby plant appears. Let's begin. All plants need right temperature, light, water, air and nutrients to grow. Let's understand it in detail. Germination When we sow seeds in the fertile soil and water them regularly, we see small baby plants appearing from them after some days. This process of growing plants from seeds is called germination. Most of the plants take birth from seeds. A seed is a part of a plant which reproduces into a similar plant in the availability of suitable conditions. The seed contains the embryo or the baby plant. It is covered by a seed coat which has two layers, the outer testa and the inner tegmen for protection. The embryo consists of one or two tiny seed leaves called cotyledons, a tiny root called radical and a tiny stem called the plumule. The radical grows into a root that begins absorbing water and minerals. The plumule grows into a shoot that produces leaves. Once the leaves have formed, they start making their own food through photosynthesis. You must know, for germination, three things are important. They are Water It is very important as it helps to soften the seed coat so that embryo can come out of the seed when it is grown. Air it is essential as seeds breathe in carbon dioxide. Sunlight It is essential for a baby plant to become active and grow. Growing without seeds Some plants can be grown without seeds. They reproduce through different parts such as root, stem or leaf. This type of reproduction is called vegetative reproduction. For example, plants like sugarcane, rose, money plant, etc. can grow from stem cuttings, while plants like sweet potato, carrot, apple, etc. can grow from the roots of the mother plants. Dispersal of seeds Dispersal is the scattering of seeds to far-off places from the parent plants. Seeds get dispersed so that they can get enough water, air, sunlight and space to grow into new plants. Seeds are dispersed by the following agents. Wind Lightweight and small, seeds are dispersed by wind like seeds of drumstick fruit have wings on them and are carried away by wind to far off places. Water Seeds and fruits of the plants that grow near water are carried away by water. For example, seeds of lotus, water lily, coconut, etc. are dispersed by water. Animals. They eat fruits and leave their seeds on ground. This help in the germination of plant after some time. Some animals like squirrels bury seeds to save them for later use but may not return to the seed. These seeds grow into a new plant. Explosion. Some plants have unique ways to disperse their seeds. Several kinds of plants shoot seeds out of the pods while ripening and thus scatter the seeds. For example, peas, beans, poppy, etc. are dispersed by explosion. Origin of tea 
the popularity of tea descends down to the olden times, dating back as 2737 BC. The credit of the discovery of tea goes to the second emperor of China, Shen Nang, who accidentally discovered the taste and aroma of the tea leaves falling into his cup of hot water. Presently, India is one of the world's largest producers of tea with close competition with China. Assam is the birthplace of tea in India. Tea is prepared from the leaves of tea plant. A tea plant can grow up to the height of 9 to 10 meters, but it is kept small and bushy by pruning so that it grows more leaves sideways. Tea leaves are picked and usually dried and seasoned before packing and delivering into the market. Other plants with foreign origin Many plants commonly grown in India have originated from foreign countries, such as Plum was first grown in China, Watermelon originated in South Africa, Onion originated in Egypt, Banana and mango came from East Asia. Coffee is the native of Ethiopia. Eucalyptus originated in Australia. Papaya and pineapple originated in America.